Ahoy, me hearties! Welcome back to another adventure on the high seas of digital construction and gaming. Today we're setting sail from the world of BIM to the enchanting gaming realms of Twin Motion. If ye be just joining us and haven't weathered the previous voyages, from Cupix Vista through to Revit, I recommend ye tack back and watch them first. This journey builds on those tales, and without them, ye might find yourself adrift in these wild waters of computer graphics and the gaming world. In our last port, we showed ye how to import your point cloud treasure into Revit for some truly inspiring designs. I trust you've had a good romp through it and got your feet wet diving into your own designs in the royal port of Revit. And if you haven't, fear not. We'll be revisiting that port many a time to sharpen your BIM buccaneer skills. But for today's voyage, we set our sights on the island of Twin Motion and chart a course for the high seas of interoperability. There'll be a whole new world of plundering to be exploring. So let's not dally. To get started, let's take a moment to ransack our Revit model we created in our last episode. From the ribbon aloft, select the View tab and scour the presentation panel for the Twin Motion drop down menu. Here there'll be a few choices to make. Ye could opt to open the Revit model directly in Twin Motion. This will whisk ye straight to the island of Twin Motion, where ye can immediately start frolicking about in your hideout design. This route offers sub options like auto sync Revit to Twin Motion, manually synchronize and control connections, a quick and easy way to see what your hideout could look like. But remember, me hearties, easy comes at a price, eh? For me, crew, and myself, we favor a more controlled exploration of our final hideout design on the island of Twin Motion without missing the adventure, giving us finer control over our treasures. So, we opt to export a Datasmith file keeping our hideout as a separate file and treasure. You'll discover in later adventures that there'll be a lot you can do with this file. From the Twin Motion drop-down menu, choose the Export Datasmith File option. A chart will appear asking you where you'd like to save this new treasure on your PC. Navigate to your chosen hold, give it a fitting name, and hit Save. Now, if you be a wise sailor, There'll be a couple of things to keep in mind about exporting or directly linking your pirate hideout design to Twin Motion. First, you need to be in a 3D view to start. Second, whatever you have shown on the screen will be exported. So if you've limited your view range with the section box or hidden parts of it, those won't be included in your pillaged treasure. Best make sure everything you wish to keep is in view before exporting or linking to Twin Motion. Once you've exported your hideout, it's time to set sail to the island of Twin Motion. For those sailing with my crew, we'll be starting fresh and trim by opening Twin Motion from the Epic Games Launcher. Navigate to your start menu and search out the Epic Games Launcher or double-click on the shortcut on your desktop. It's assumed you've already installed the necessary rigging or software for our adventure. If not, take a moment now to do so. But be warned, these be large and heavy riggings, so best make sure your vessel is up for the challenge by looking at the minimum system requirements provided in the links, eh? From the Epic Games launcher, you'll find a myriad of different versions available of Twin Motion. My crew and I be using the latest build at the time of this recording, but other options be available. Most will accept our Datasmith treasure, so no need to fuss over the differences. With your choice of Twin Motion open, you'll find there be a few templates to get you started. Like our foray into the port of Revit, me crew and I will be using our own template. If you were a clever lad or lass on our last adventure, you can download this one too from our secret treasure chest. And if not, fear not. You can start from scratch by selecting New Project from aloft or by selecting one of the many fantastic community templates available. Now let's get ashore and start exploring the magical island of Twin Motion. Before we dive into importing all of our pirate treasures, Let's get the lay of the land, quite literally in this case, by exploring the user interface. We could spend a fortnight exploring all the corners of this island, but for now, we'll just get you started down the right path. Starting aloft, you'll see your typical options for file, edit, and help. Depending on what version of Twin Motion you've hoisted your sail to, and other plugins you may have installed, there might be many other options to spy, but these be the most common. You'll see the home button shown by a small cottage icon just below the menu bar. 
This wee cottage be a quick way to take you back to where you first arrived here in twin motion. To port be the library. Here you can load in everything from materials to custom animated characters for your pirate hideout. This library is vast, and there be many a meta sailor online creating new content all the time. If you can't find what you're looking for, often you can find or make it yourself and bring it into twin motion in the same manner we be showing you in this tutorial. Take a moment to explore, play, and tinker around with all that is available in this treasure trove of assets. Next, we look starboard, where at the top there be the scene. This chart lists all of the available content ye may wish to edit, change, and provides a means by which ye can manage your treasures. Heed your captain, keeping your treasure and any assets organized while docked here on the island of Twin Motion will go a long way in saving ye time, frustration, and confusion as you develop on your own adventures. Let's start by creating a treasure chest or subfolder that we can organize some of our treasures into. Navigate your mouse to a blank area of the scene space and right-click with your mouse. A chart will appear with several options for ye to pick from. Select Create New Container and give the folder a fitting name like Landscape. Next, we can move elements into our new treasure box by simply selecting what items we wish and then dragging and dropping them into the new folder. A salty sailor knows to keep his gear organized and stowed properly, eh? As you begin to fill your island with more and more treasure, this list will grow to be as long as Poseidon's beard. So, keep things ship-shape and tidy by rolling up files you be not using. Should ye ever lose track of your gear and treasures, ye can also search for it from the search bar above or sort your treasure trove by the types from the drop-down menu in the corner. In the large porthole be your scene, like Revit. This be where you will do most of your modeling, adjustments, and modifications to build as real of a pirate hideout as you can imagine. I won't delve into the navigation of this space as we have in the past. If you've noticed, many of our adventures and ports of call have similar navigation systems. Muck about and get familiar with it. I trust you will get the hang of it in no time. And if you get lost... Just look aloft at the control hints or consult the gear that ye can adjust the helm to your liking. Now, for ye clever lads, ye may have noticed that once an object be selected, the lower chart will change. Like our ribbon tool in Revit, this be the same. Whatever ye have selected, its options will be displayed in the chart below. We have not the time to explore every depth of these atolls, but with a bit of messing about, ye will find your way to greater treasures. Next we cast our eyes aloft to the control helm. The first rigging at your disposal is the Path Tracer button. This enables or disables the rendering Path Tracer method, bringing even more vivid rendering style to your image. Be wary, however, this tool be costly on your vessel or computer. Enabling it will permit you to have some very realistic renderings due time. Next is the Material Picker, shown with an eyedropper. This tool allows you to sample a texture and edit its properties and appearance from the modifier panel on the starboard side. You can also drag and drop the texture onto other elements in your scene, a deft maneuver saving time and frustration of having to locate the materials from the library. Next be the translate tools. These tools be used to position your assets and treasures where you would like them. Move, rotate, and scale are all based on a numeric system tied to your scene's measurement units. For example, one equals one foot, so best know your units before making too many modifications. Like our modify chart, this toolbar will change depending on what you have selected. Now there be a few more tools aloft that we not be going into here, such as collision, gravity and the like, but feel free to mess about on your next liberty call. Playing about is half of what being a pirate is about, eh? Once you have the desired treasure selected, a small icon will appear near the object's center. Depending on what transform tool you have selected, this gimbal will change, giving you a hint at what translate tool you have selected. You can move in one axis by selecting one of the arrows from the gimbal, or in multiple directions by selecting several arrows. The same be true for the scale tool as well as the rotate tool. If you get a little carried away and have been swinging your treasure about like a baboon, or can't quite seem to get it positioned on the ground as you would like, you can also simply click the center of the gimbal and drag it across the surface of another object. This will align it to the face of that surface. 
Don't fret if you get a little stuck. You can always undo your changes by using the keyboard shortcut Control Z. Now we be getting to the fun part, me hearties. Our last panel to explore sits below. Here be several rigging to master, namely the import tool. But we be getting to that here in a moment. Next be materials. Seems as obvious as sails on a ship, but this be a quick way of finding all your available material treasures. Now the populate tool be a bit more complicated. We not be going into all the details here in our interoperability adventure, but trust your captain when I tell you. Making a jungle as thick as Treasure Island is as easy as standing still ashore. A few minutes mucking about with this tool and you will get the gist. Savvy? Second to last is our media panel. This be where you can begin saving views, videos, panoramas, and even VR environments that you find interesting in your own adventures. We will circle back to this tool often as we prepare for our next adventures in VR and beyond. Last but not least is the export panel. This be where the final images and treasures you specified in the media panel be saved out as new glittering treasure. A bit of a sneak peek, but this also be where you will have the pleasure of experiencing our very own Pirate Cove in VR, but that adventure is for another day. Here on the magical island of Twin Motion, there be many a rigging and tools at your disposal. They are as vast as the briny is deep, so take a spell, swig some grog, and spend a little time to get familiar with the island. When ye are ready, come back as we prepare to take our next steps into the island's interior by importing our Revit treasure and hauling from deep in our treasure hold the GLB from our very first Cupix Vista adventure. If you missed that voyage or forgot your cut of the plunder, best tack back to Cupix to get it before the deeps be claiming it. Until then, me hearties, stay nerdy. This be your captain's signing off. <laughs>